Hello everybody, welcome back to another lock picking video. And in today's video, we want to have a look inside the lock and I want to teach you what I learned during the years in lock picking, how you can manipulate the pins and what you have to look out for while picking a lock to get it open. So I'll put this lock here. This is a very nice cutaway I got the other day in a vise and we will manipulate it only with three pins. There's plenty to show you what I want to teach you today. So let's put it in a vise and then we'll start picking and talking about the pins, pin states and how to set them. See you back in a second. So here we are back in a vise only with the three pins and the line I've drawn here is the shear line where the core will separate from the housing and the pins need aligned need to be aligned at for the core to be able to turn. So if we poke around now with a pick, you will see all the three pins are springy. I can move them any way I want to. And this way I will not get the lock open, of course, only if we apply tension with a tensioner like this and then poke around again. Still one is springy, so we would say nothing on one. Now two is binding and it's actually in an underset state right now. So I can set it a bit and it still is underset. Now I got a click and now it gets springy again. And this is a set bounce. And now it's, the pin is set and this is something we can probe like this. This is a jiggle test. A set pin will always bounce a bit like this. If we proceed now to the next pin, now pin 3 is binding. Again here, that feels super stiff. I, if I do the jiggle test here, it doesn't move a thing. But if I release some tension and keep pushing, it moves a bit. Still, jiggle test shows it's still binding, so keep pushing. Keep pushing. And this one is a bit short, so I have to do some trickery to go into the middle of the keyway. Okay, finally got there. And now the pin is at shear, it is set. And when I do the jiggle test, it bounces nicely. You can see there's a small compression of the spring. And this is something we can really feel. Let's check two, it's still set. And now pin one, currently also in an underset state and it is binding tightly. And if I keep pushing on it, it's still binding, keep pushing and we'll cheer and the lock opens up. So we have underset and set. Then there's one more pin state. This is the overset pin state, so again, Pin 2 starts binding and now it's set and if we keep pushing, now the um, key pin is at shear line. So this is over set. Now I will not get any other pins to bind. You see I can push on them and they will not stick at, at any position and the jiggle test tells me if a pin is springy, don't touch it. So here pin 2, what can I do against that? Um, all I can do is basically release tension. I cannot pull it up, of course, with the pick. But yeah, just like that, I got it to shear. And then I can continue picking again, jiggle testing three and two, uh, one. And now it's still under set. It might look like it's almost set, but if you probe the pin states, two is set, three is set. Just one feels still stiff, so let's push on it and we get the lock open. Yeah, and this is something you do in, in all the locks, basically. This jiggle test is so important to learn early on and a cutaway lock like this really helps. So I hope I can do a follow-up video with some security pins like serrated drivers and so on and show you what you have to look out there for. But 
for everybody who's still here. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next video. Bye.